Who are you? Another person from a different world. I will take you to Belay Memoria to explain yourself in details, what really happened, and where you came from. I see. You slept your bed and ended up here, waking up in some unknown portal in front of you. That you thought that it was some kind of a dream. But it turns out to be true. I see. You know what? How about we take a stroll outside the city for a tour? There are many things that you need to learn. Well, I shall take you to the library. What do you say? <laughs> well then, I was also about to say we'll go into a restaurant. No need to be shy. Go on. Let us eat. We have to move after you eat. There's a part that you need to see. It's what they call ballroom. Oh, you're familiar with those? Interesting. So you're saying that if in your previous world you lived as a dance parties? Hmm. Very well. We shall go then. There is a lot of people around here. But anyways, shall we dance? You don't need to be afraid. Stay close and eyes on me. Phew. I'm exhausted. Too many women were starting to line up to have a dance with me. How about you? Do you feel fine? Glad to hear that. This time, we need to take a break. Somewhere relaxing. Mmm, mmm. That soup was so delicious. Impressive. I do praise how they cooked the meat. It's so tender and juicy. Oh. <coughs> my, my. It seems you're living in Fontaine. Would you like to be part of a Fontaine citizens? Hmm? You just need to fill up some few informations about yourself. Then I'll handle the rest. <sighs> the scenery is quite beautiful, don't you think? But I find that the uh, bright sunlight is best appreciated from the indoors through a window. I need to learn more about you. Oh, and by the way, may I know your name? It is strange we haven't introduced ourselves properly. <coughs> My apologies. I was too curious about your origins, to the point that I was forgotten to introduce myself. <laughs> it is already night time. I hope you were not overwhelmed by the cities and more information about Fontaine. Hmm? Hmm. You don't look too well. You know what? Go in my room. I shall escort you to my place. And I shall take care of you. This time. It is your first time, so... Maybe some people would do something harm on you, or harass you on alleys. Come here. Get closer. Don't be afraid of me. Good. Good. That's a good girl. Thank you, my assistants. I shall take it from here. My things to you both. You may leave now. 
Good night. I hope you are feeling well. May no negative emotions may ripple through your dreams tonight. Good night. <laughs> I shall pat your head, so it'll be more comfortable as you sleep. I should prepare some food for her as she wakes up. <laughs> Good morning, my love. It's time to rise and shine. Hmm, such a sleepy head. Yes, the world is waiting for your beautiful smile. <laughs> of course. But just to know your morning grace is missed by the sunrise. <laughs> I just want to assure that your day begins with love. My apologies. That is just how I show a care for new people, of course. Um, yes, um, you people, uh, 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 um, my dear Melzine, please take care of her. I have to attend my duties. Please take care of her. And you, don't go anywhere, or you'll be lost. Understood? Good. This concludes today's proceedings. The court is adjourned. You may leave. <sighs> Such an exhausting day. Ah, it is you. Greetings. We we'll meet again. Shall we grab the food? Oh, don't, you don't need to worry about me. I'm perfectly fine. Healthy as always. So you were talking about that guy? You're interested with him? Oh, so you're just curious. His name is Ridesley. Ridesley is a trustworthy man. I fought hard for the title and reputation he now has. I expect you to think that I've been simply been duped by his flattery and appearance of loyalty. But you don't have to worry. <laughs> I have known him for a long time, better than you think. But I want you to know that we're still trying to figure it out where you really belong and your exact origins. Hmm, would you tell me the details? I see. Well then, I feel free to stay in Valentine as long as you want it. Hmm. The beauty of the city. <sighs> By the way, there's something I need to tell you. As the stars are shining through the city, I want you to know that I don't want to lose you because of my life. It's been so much better since the day I met you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I know, and it's hard to believe. And we just met for like, I know we just met recently. But after spending time with you for weeks, there's something special about you. And the connection between us is such powerful as what I know. So I wanted to thank the stars that they gave me you. Hmm. <laughs> You're such a happy person, aren't you? That is so cute. So adorable with you. Whenever I look at your eyes, it's like I'm looking at the galaxy, full of possibilities. Your shining eyes are like the reflection of the stars, as if I'm getting closer to them. Sometimes it is hard to reach. I 
know that this sounds different. I've, I've been carrying this feeling around a secret treasure today, and I wanted to share with you. I adored you a lot. Not just that, I've been spent so much time thinking about you, how to tell you this. But here it goes. You make my heart do backflips. And I've been keeping a little secret that I can't hide any longer. And I have been formed for you from the first time I met you. I'm so sorry. I didn't told you this. But it is how I really loved you. You accepted me. Thank you. May I have the permission to kiss you? Look. Mm.